Hi, my name is Roberto. I'm in 10th grade and some of my hobbies are photography, animation, and running. So stop motion is a series of photos combined all together to create a scene that something is moving when it really isn't. So basically, each frame, it moves by small, small increments and when all combined, it creates a sense of it's walking or jumping around. In December, me and a partner of mine, we worked on a, an animation based on the Holocaust. That was pretty great, honestly. There are snags along the way, such as maybe the set moving around or falling and just completely getting destroyed and, all, and starting all over again. So I, I, I'm really scared to do it because, you know, sometimes, you know, so much work can just, you know, go to waste. So I tried to, you know, maybe tape the set to the table, tape the tripod to the ground. Maybe like 10 years ago, there was a set where you know you could buy these props and like these little toys. It showed them um, to use this app for stop motion. And you know, I, I just started to get it. And from there, I started to practice. And yeah, that's basically what, what I do. Hi, I'm Stephanie Rodriguez, and I'm in Color Guard. I joined because. Um, I was already interested in it like before, but I just didn't get a chance to join, but it was something different and I felt like I wanted to do something different. The use of equipment, just like uh, flags, rifles, sabers, and we use choreography with those equipment to like perform. And we also go on competitions uh, where we also get like ratings and stuff, so. People should join Color Guard because, well, one, it's fun. It's something different, like I said, that most people just don't do. And you can meet, like, more people that, you know, again, do that, I guess. <laughs> My favorite thing about Color Guard is just working out the choreography and practicing it and, try, like, getting good at it because once it gets good and you perform with everyone else, it, the whole performance looks great. My name is Nicolas Corona and I am a senior at Hesperia High School and I am in the pole vaulting team. I started doing um, track and field in junior high, but of course pole vaulting was not an option back then. I started doing pole vaulting my freshman year and I don't know, I fell in love with it. It was like a really fun experience. The best thing about pole vaulting is uh, the thrill of being in the L. It's just, it's such, such a rush. But the worst thing, it's like the mental blocks. It's really hard to like, to continue going like 13 feet in the L with like, you know, the possibility of falling or breaking anything. All in all, pole vaulting is a, it's a really great experience that I would love to continue in college and I want to get really competitive with it. It's something I'm really passionate about and it's something I hope to continue. I'm Olga Hurtado, I am 15 years old and I do BMX. So basically, I started bike riding well, BMX, you could say, um, two years ago. My parents kind of inspired me to do it because they started off first, they've been doing it for three years. And then I started doing bike riding and then after that, it's been great. My most I did this past week was 45 miles. I surf on my bike, which is not very common for people. I've been surfing for a year now. I learned from my great friend, Kate. When I started surfing, it was like more of me trying to find a peace of mind. I remember I was going through like a rough patch in my beginning of high school and I turned to bike riding and then after that it was just like I'm not sweating it no more you know. It requires a lot of balance and a lot of technique for it. When surfing you have to fix your bike seat and also you have to maneuver your handlebars a little bit. It's basically about balance and like finding your center on the bike. Hi my name is Gabriela Hernandez. I'm the lieutenant for the dance team for Hesperia High School. I love art, so I like to express however I feel in any type of way, and I think dance like really captures like the emotion I'm trying to bring out to the world, I guess. My mind just is blank. I'm at peace with myself. Nothing matters besides like me in that moment. As a dance lieutenant, um, I get to see more like behind the scenes, ordering like dance shoes, um, preparing for our seniors, like senior night and all of that, I also get to create some of the dances we perform. I feel like when you're in like a club or like a group um, and you guys love one thing in particular, you guys really bond over that one thing and then you guys find out what you have more in common later on. Uh, we do TikToks when we have the time. We collaborate and like do, we get in like a small circle 
and we just talk about who we are and get to know each other more on a personal level. Dance could be for anyone. You could learn any type of style. It's really not that hard. Anyone could do it. As long as you put in the work and the effort in, it should be easy for anyone. Hey everyone, my name is Joshua Cassera. I'm a professional comic book artist and I work for Marvel Comics. I've always drawn, like since I was little, like everything, but I've always been drawing the comic books, comic book characters. I started putting myself out there and a British publisher, Titan UK, one of their editors, started feeding me some work. I got an email from the head editor at Marvel and I've been drawing for them since then and now I'm exclusive, exclusively drawing X-Men for them. To be a job, to I think any job, uh, especially like a creative job, you really have to be self-motivated because it's like school projects. You don't just, like I said, clock in and out. You have a deadline and you have to be on time and nobody, you know, otherwise you're backing up the train behind you for the other people down the line and they have publishing dates and you just need to work hard and concentrate on getting better at your craft every single day. I, the last thing I drew, um, I see all the mistakes and I just want to get better on the next one. <laughs>